Hello, I'm Entrilithium, and welcome back to Cold Waters, a World War Three sub simulator game. We have to go and impo- uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's, that's not good. We've got to go stop them, we're not going to get there in time. We've got to go oppose a landing at Narvik. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Come on. Yes, we made it! Oh dear, right, okay, uh, contact bearing 74. Okay, we need to stop this landing. Let's do this. There is an opposed landing. Oh, it's not an opposed landing. I guess we're opposing it. Enemy troop transports and tenders. Ooh, strong layer. That's good. Not as steep as I'd like, but good. All right. We've got a. You know what? We'll travel straight for a moment. Oh, active sonar ping. Let's go to the surface and have a look. I was going to say we should travel straight and get a bit closer. But judging by the fact we're already being pinged by active sonar, that sounded fairly strong. You know, we should probably have a look already just to make sure we don't get too close and get pinged actively. We've got our missiles loaded. We're going to have a periscope look. Maybe even raise the ESM mast if we can. All right, Sierra 1. Fifty feet. Right. Solution 62. You know what? We're going to do a signature on you before we raise anything. Interesting signature. A lot down the low end of the spectrum here. That's unusual. Cash in. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, no, actually, no. S2 is good enough for us to be able to track. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, what's S2? Remember, the, the amphibious transports are our target. Oh, the landing craft, not the transport, sorry. The amphibious... Oodaloid. Oodaloid, that might be what we're looking for. Let's check. No, that's an anti-submarine ship. What's an amphibious landing craft? I can't remember what the amphibious landing craft is called. I have a list in front of me, it should say. Landing ship, there we go. A Rapucha. We're looking for a Rapucha. We're a good distance to start taking enemies out. We're going to put the periscope up. Surface noise is 88 decibels. No sign of enemies. That's the Oodaloy over there. Barring that Oodaloy, I cannot see anyone. Down scope. Let's try and get... I don't have a... I don't have all the bands on this one. It's going to be hard to actually find a match. I'm missing the fifth band. It could be an alligator. Which seems likely because that's a transport ship. And they'll probably have a transport ship with the landing craft. So we're going to call that an alligator for now. Okay, so no actual landing craft here, mostly just transports. Okay. We could fire now. I think we're probably in a decent place to fire. So, are you ready for this? One. Two. Three. Four. Reload with a decoy. Reload with a torpedo. Reload with a... Missile. 
and then sink us. We want to go under the layer. Firing missiles kind of gives away our position there. Alligator is down. Our solutions might not have been good enough to actually get hit. Torpedo! Passing aft. Let's ball up the engine. Let's go fast. That torpedo is coming back around and it's probably going to be a hit. I don't think there's a way we can dodge it. Unless we go deeper and actually turn into the torpedo. 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 Oh! This is going to be a close one. Alright, turn away from the torpedo. It's going to end up on our tail, but that's fine. Deploy noisemaker. Oh, oh no. Don't, don't drag the tail. Don't drag the tail. Careful. Another noisemaker. Go flat, go flat, go flat. We've just got to lose this torpedo. Once we've lost the torpedo, we can re-engage. Did we sink? Oh, we've only just sunk the one alligator. That's not good enough. Torpedo's reacquiring. Dumping a noisemaker behind us. Hopefully the torpedo will... Yep, we lost it. Uh, reef oh no, that's another torpedo that found us. But lost us because of that noisemaker. Good. We really need to be able to fire back at them at some stage because they're just going to keep firing torpedoes. We've been reacquired. Let's form a knuckle. Knuckle formed. We lost the torpedo. Good. Reacquired. Knuckle formed. Not good enough. That sounds like maybe guns firing? Can't be certain. Okay, we've been reacquired by both of those torpedoes. They're actually going towards the enemy. This is not good. Right, I was wondering how long that torpedo was going to last. That's one torpedo down. That one's probably going to do a drive around. Because there's two different modes of how torpedoes home. One of them is the old-fashioned one, which is if you kind of lose them with a noisemaker or something, they'll just drive straight to the noisemaker and try and get a contact with you again. The more modern one is they will go around the noisemaker. And so you saw it went around and then came back when it lost us. My plan is, as soon as that one explodes, we'll go silent and use the explosion to mask our sudden disappearance from sonar. Well, that's another torpedo. God damn it. Okay, well, we're going to be uh, avoiding torpedoes for a while, I guess. Noisemaker. Didn't work.
Right, we've got lost that one, but this one's still homing. This one's probably only got a little while until it explodes, so we just need to lose it once more. That's guns firing, that's guns firing, that's guns... Okay! Ooh. Propulsion damp. you're kidding. Propulsion damaged? Noisemaker. Oh god. Propulsion damaged? You've got to be joking. Propulsion damaged. Okay, how do we dodge this without propulsion? Noisemaker? It might miss us on its drive around. Come on, get the propulsion back online. Ow! Propulsion repaired. Get the decoy out. Okay, just give us speed now. That torpedo is going to reacquire us in a bit. That was so close, but I don't think we've got long to live. They are targeting the decoy. full sideways. Go silent. I think they may have gone for the decoy. I'm going to unrig from silent because that's just who I am and uh, quite frankly I want to be able to reload another decoy. But it looks like they've gone for that decoy. We are being pinged back to sonar. Give me a run shallow active torpedo. Get it out now. The great thing about torpedoes is you can fire them at any depth. Whereas missiles, you have to be relatively close to the surface because obviously they're going to fly above the surface, aren't they? Now hopefully it won't go for our... Uh Decoy. I think it's gone for the decoy. I was hoping it wouldn't. Yeah. My bad there. We're too close to fire our missiles. At enemy ships on the surface. To be fair though, it might detect something else after it goes past the decoy. Let's get to the surface. Okay, missile. Go for the Oodaloy. Oh, that was a torpedo. Whoops. Okay, missile. I was wondering about the... Uh... Right. Missile. Reload with torpedoes. There's a cannon super close here. They're still targeting that decoy. Oh! Uh, in which case, let's re evaluate that torpedo. 
We just sunk it. Ah, wire broke. I was trying to redo that, but oh well. Okay, the cannon's down. The Odaloy's being targeted. We've got a cash in over here. We're doing okay now. I mean, I've just jinxed us by saying that, but uh, hey ho. Right, let's take down the Oodaloi. I don't know if it dodged the torpedo or what, but it doesn't seem to be any sort of real hit. Cash in over here, 95% solution. Send out a torpedo. Wire break, okay. I'm being very happy-go-lucky with just firing lots and lots of stuff right now because, yes, Oodaloi's down! I think that was a missile that killed it. Because right now, we are super outnumbered, and the only thing that I can do is spam. Which, hey, might make them move. It might actually cause a reaction. Torpedo coming dead at us. Deploy a noisemaker. Dive the boat. Get a missile away. Right, we're below the layer now. We are taking on water. Okay. Go quiet. Just see if that torpedo locks us. Doesn't look like it has. But it is coming back around now. I'm going to drop another noisemaker. And I'm going to go hard to port. Oh, it's locked us. It's locked us. It's locked us. Okay. Well, if we outrun the torpedo and we go this direction, we're going towards the enemy, which is actually a good thing. They still have at least one or two cash in, though, which is the worrying part. I was hoping that they would be down, but, uh, oh well. Can we get the flooding under control? Go up a bit higher? Have a noisemaker. Using a lot of noisemakers at the moment. No, I have a noisemaker. Oh, can't. Okay, let's try and make a knuckle. There we go. Being reacquired by the torpedo. Knuckle formed. It's going around. It might get confused by that noisemaker if I'm lucky. Probably not, because I'm not lucky. Now it's rehomed. Okay, form another knuckle. Okay, go silent, but also get higher because that, uh, that, what's it called? Flooding is going to be an issue. There's definitely someone over here looking for us, but they seem a bit more distant judging by the return on their active sonar. Come on. Release from ultra quiet because we need to deal with that flooding. Oh, hello. 
We've got a bearing on you, but that's about it. Come on, give us that height. Our depth is way too low. Okay. Passing 100 feet. Flatten her out a little bit. A little bit down on the planes. Oh, nope, we're starting to sink again because of the uh, flooding. Hopefully we can get that under control because I kind of want to raise the periscope. Okay. A little bit of ballast. Bring us up above 50. 53, 52, 51. Up periscope, up ESM mast. Where should we be looking? This direction. I'm only doing a quick scan, so people on YouTube might catch this a bit quicker than me. Nothing that I can see. Aha! Hello! Rat of missiles. Oh, that's not good. We know there's at least one other transport. We need. No, we've got. <gasps> we've got two transports: the alligator and the aguima. And we got the cash in. What? Okay. Um. Let's see. Come on, lock. Yes! Not a kill. Okay, it's slowed down though. Speed is now nine knots. The torpedo should be able to catch it. It's a long way for a torpedo to go. Do it. Torpedo out. The cash-in seems to be leaving the combat zone. The cash-in seems to have just been like, Nope! Nope! I bug out! I bug out! Which is, you know, fine. Actually, it might be getting a bit closer again. Yeah, it does seem to be getting closer. I'm going to fire a torpedo with an active sonar up a reciprocal bearing. Could we control ultra quiet? We might start sinking. That's my worry. Let's look at damage control. If we rig for ultra quiet. Nope, we are sinking again. And now we need to sort out our ballast because we've sunk. Oh god, too high, too high, too high, too high, too high, too high. We're breaching the surface. We're breaching the surface. Down! Down, please! Let's see. Come on. Yes! Good torpedo! And that! is where we start chasing after the last survivor. We don't know if that uh, transport's going to get away or not, but we do know that since all the escorts are gone, we can leg it. I 
And we can go a lot faster than them, especially since they're damaged. Oh, they sunk! We got them! We got them! The torpedo got them! Yes! Oh, we need to rearm and repair. Definitely. We spent a lot of munitions, but hey, we also got a lot of kills. That's a lot of kills. Weapons remaining. Just eight torpedoes and three decoys. Woo. That said, when our power plant went out and there were like three torpedoes hunting us, I was like, no, we are so dead here. We are so dead. No engine? Great job. Pleased to hear the expected invasion of Narvik Norway has been repelled. Stand by further up. Yes! We've got to get a decent medal for that. Silver Star? I'll take it. For conspicuous gallantry and in intrepidity. Intrepid. Itty. I've never seen that as a word before. It's just weird. Intrepidity against enemies of the United States of America on the night of Okay. Norway defended. Oh yeah. Uh, at sea, replenishment tankers and tenders. The small enemy force of two is expected to sail from Amansk for rendezvous in the Greenland Sea. No offense, we're not doing this mission. We're going to uh, rearm and repair. It's just the way it is. Oh, what's this? Communists hit Norway! <gasps> no! Cross the border into Norway, spearhead divisions surge directly. For major bridges, railway crossings, and airfields, and what seems to be a well prepared and orchestrated attack. Oh, you can see they've got uh, an army up there now. Right, bring ourselves down to Holy Loch. Uh, we would like to rearm and repair. We full of water. We do seem to be full of water, despite the fact we're hundred percent. What? Why are we full of water? We're hundred percent hull. I'm not sure. Oh well, let's reload our stores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. NATO re-enter West Germany! Huzzah! Where was I? Mm. We'll unload one missile. Unload one decoy. There we go. Right, and in our tubes I would like... Two torpedoes, two missiles. Okay. Away! Okay, so sailing from Amans to Norwegian Sea. Watch this line. They may have crossed it already. That's probably them up there. They're going to the Greenland Sea, not the Norwegian Sea. So yeah, they're probably there already. Yep, they're right there. We're going to lose this mission in a second. Because we spent 48 hours rearming and repairing or something like that. And apparently we're flooded. So... I don't know what to say. Come on, yes! Okay, you contact, basically due north, all hands battle stations. We aren't flooded, huzzah! Right. Nice deep water. I appreciate that. No thermal layer though. Ambient noise on the surface at 94 decibels? Eh, that's probably playing in our favor. Right. Gonna point ourselves due north. Gonna level the boat out. Course eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, level the boat, one, zero. 
We have a contact. Sierra 1. 4% solution. Not good enough yet. Sierra 2. Active pinging. Okay. Let's get to periscope depth. A lot of active pinging. Let's hope our acoustic coating helps uh, defend against that. 54. 52. 51. 50. Periscope up. This is great. That's an iceberg. You could shoot the iceberg. Oh, apparently that's a ship. I just decided to laser the iceberg just for laughs, just to wonder how far it was. That's apparently a ship in the way between us and the iceberg. We can fire on that ship immediately if we wanted. But the, ES the ESM mask might give us away. We're going to fire a torpedo. Passive tracking. There we go. If we put the SM mast up, they might notice it. So what I was hoping for is that we could get a surprise torpedo. Echo 3. Fairly close. I can't see them in the sea. Okay, torpedo is going. Why has it broken yet, despite the sea? There's a cannon. We don't know how the cannon's going to act as soon as the torpedo hits the Don. So I don't know if we fire another torpedo or if we just wait and fire missiles. Probably say the missile's a better idea. Trying to adjust the... It won't let me. Okay. The Don is down. The Don is a submarine support ship, so happy that that went down. That was our target. Active homing on the next torpedo. I'm tempted to go for E3 because we know it's so close. Whoa, what do we do here? They're definitely trying to ping us down with their radar. I could raise the SM mass, but that makes it even more likely they'll see us on radar. We could just leave the area. We've got our primary objective. We don't need to do the secondary objective. I can't fire at the cannon at the moment. If I do, it's probably going to hit the wreck. Or it might hit the wreck. Contact's over here somewhere. I wonder if Echo 3 might be a submarine. Nope. It just contacted it as a cannon. Okay, Echo 3 is a cannon. And it's further away. Ah! Oh, no. It's closer suddenly. And this is an iceberg. Okay, I'm going to send a torpedo. Active tracking near the surface. Run straight. I'm just going to say, if you find an enemy in this line, kill it. Because that cannon might well come around onto this line as well. Oh, there we go. We know a little bit more about where it is. Still hasn't found the cannon. 
Okay. Might find that cannon. It's got that cannon, though. This one's still only an 83% solution. It's gone. Oh, it created a knuckle. Clever. Not clever enough. That's a ship over there. You can see it on the horizon. And it's down. This cannon, however, is steaming away. Reload the tubes. Go ultra quiet again. Only a 64% solution. It's not good enough to fire on yet. Come on, bring me a better solution. 95. Active pinging. Send it. Wire break. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping we could have the wire, but sure. Yeah, they're definitely where there's a torpedo there, because they're actively pinging. Torpedo has found a target! I hope it just doesn't target the iceberg, because that'd be kind of awkward. Oh, success, right. Very nice. And that's it. That's all the enemies in the area. Nice, successful. We've done pretty well today. It did help that the uh, surface noise was 94 decibels. Kind of makes it hard for them to hear me. But being able to contact the Don first gave us a perfect line to shoot our primary target. And we did it from some range, like, you know, it was over 10,000 yards when we've been firing on all these targets, so they didn't exactly have the easiest time lining us back up. But for now, we're going to call it for this episode. If you have liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Feel free to comment down below, letting me know how you think I'm doing, how you're enjoying the game, whether you like it or not, whether it's maybe too simulatory for you, maybe it's too gamey for you, I don't know. I'm interested to see people's different opinions. I'm really enjoying it, but hey, maybe that's just me. Until next time, stay shiny.